Greetings and salutations of a one I am a one G here with the only one G S, I guess, uh, for only one sheep. I don't know. Oh, any bars right at the start of the video. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, he's just chilling here. Um, he wanted to start off the intro with us, but uh, I might just knock you up. No, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> you know, I. Or would I? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to him. But he really needs to get off that before he really does fall and just hurt himself. Well, if I get some weed or something, I'll kind of lure him into the bedroom, and I guess we'll have a sheep in our bedroom, which is kind of weird. But uh, we're not gonna make it weird, so it shouldn't be weird. Um, I need to be careful going. Yeah, I don't want to just back myself right off there. It would be quite bad. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, right there perhaps um gonna end that section should i just continue it across all this i uh, could do that and that piece is forever gone yep okay so i made a lot more of this than i needed figures as much okay oh okay that was bad that right there guys is what you do not want to do in a hardcore survival Whoa, that was really bad. Okay, so my what I thought I was gonna do, I thought I was gonna do like a run and jump, but I wasn't looking at my hunger. And of course, if you have like a, a low hunger, you can't run or do the awesome run and jumps, which I like to do like 90% of the time. And uh, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't have no hunger to do that, and I could have died right there. As I was falling, I was like, "Please don't die! Please don't die! Please don't die!" That was really bad. We don't need to be having. We don't need to do that again. Um, that was a one-time thing. I never want to experience that again. I want to be on the safe side of things because that could have killed me. Luckily, I had armor. If I wouldn't have had armor, that could have been the end of the AOP. Close call right there, guys. Very close call. Um, I just wanted to add that little bit of, um, walling there before we started our, our exploration and, uh, went to see if there was anything in that desert over there. But in the process, I almost got myself killed, which was bad. But we already kind of regenerated back up on health, which is a good thing so um i need to be careful here okay Whew. i'm very scared now okay boom and that's how that's gonna work out okay so i might change that with dirt right there actually i don't know what i'm gonna do there but our main goal now is to go explore because i just wanted to get that done so we have that enclosed then as the sugar cane grows or whatever we can fix that i need to put some uh, let's see what i can do here Oh, look at you, you cheat code user. You cheater, using your little wings. Ugh, whatever. Ow. Ow. And I heard him again. That Enderman's been here for, like, so many parts. Where is he? Is he inside the mountain or something? Oh, speaking of which, I do need to stock up on my melons. My daily melon. Um, grinds, I guess. Getting all the melons that I need to keep me stocked up for now until I get a better farm going. Where is Dude, I hear that Enderman at, though. You know what? I'm not going to be concerned with it, but I do need to kill him to see if I can get an Ender Pearl. Because that would be quite nice, but I don't think I'm going to find him. So, whatever the case be, we're going to go explore because it's long overdue. And I'm ready for some exploration. I don't know about you guys, but once we finally get into, like, the mining side of things, like, once we start on our mine and get all the, like, I probably won't do a lot of strip mining on video because, let's be honest, strip mines are just boring unless I tell you guys, like, epic stories in the process of me strip mining which i don't know if you guys would like that but is this really all the desert is it looks like it ends and goes back to swamp but there is some deserts over there um cactus the cactus is over here haven't grown so much which is odd because if you guys recall in like the desert near where the pyramid is like so many cactuses like it just like crazy has consumed that place um which kind of bugs me because i've got many worlds that has like two villages on it it would have been nice to have two villages on this world because, I mean, let's face it, that would be awesome. That means more trading options, um, better things you can find with the villagers. But uh, this world has some very unique things on it, I will say. I like it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fully explore all this. Though. We'll get my map out so it kind of shows I've been here. Yep, that looks like the sum of this desert. Um, you know, this desert kind of connects with the other one we have over there, which is surprising. Hmm, who would have known? Okay, and it kind of just breaks off into little sections over there, too. You know, I've never seen a village in a swamp. That would be quite interesting, but that's still some of the swamp we have to explore and whatnot. And then this will just lead us back to the wonderful, um, awesome mushroom island, which we're going to get a boat and sail over to eventually. Whoa, what is this? Okay, this is weird. What in the world? Um, okay, that's kind of weird when you find stuff like this. Iron right there! I, okay, the chances, oh, it's getting dark, we need to head back, but the chances, 
I thought I heard a zombie too. That's probably a cave right in there, considering there's iron there. But the chances of firing iron just right above the ground, slim. Um, the chances are z slim. Like, I want to say the there are no chances, but we just did. So, yeah, that's the first time I've ever found... Okay, that's weird. That's the first time I've ever found um, iron on above ground like that. Just like, here I am, if you want to mine me. I'm just like, okay, usually I have to kind of go into a cave system or something. But uh, we're in a predicament now. I didn't think before going out like it may be getting dark soon i should have waited till it got dark slept but look at the wonderful stars one thing about minecraft if you're in a desert the stars just really are amazing because you don't have to worry about the hills blocking your view or any of that shenanigans so it's pretty awesome but um yeah we got to get back to our house because mobs are already spawning and that means very dangerous times for us if something i i don't know if our house is fully like um to the point where I don't have to worry about creepers because like the balcony they could drop in from the balcony uh, that would just be very bad and startling I uh, see creepers over there oh no 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 I don't like the way I'm going because the pl the route I'm taking there's only one way and that means I'm gonna have to face whatever's in there you guys know where it's at it's right here actually all right I can barely see oh this torch is down here good 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 I'll lit it up all right, so we look, we we looking like we into good. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I'm going to my house. I'm out. Go, 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 go. Up this, up this. Uh, oh no, I didn't close my door, so I'm afraid something's like following me up the staircase. I'm like, oh no, what is something's behind me? Okay, wolf, you're there. Do your job. I, I'm actually glad that wolf somehow teleported his way up here because uh, it's good to have him around. Oh, I don't want to go out there. Ooh. Okay. I am so on edge about this stuff. Oh! Well, hello to everyone. Good morning. Um, How is everyone doing? Glad to, you know, see everybody's on fire. Uh, That's just, that's a, that's a plus. I just realized I didn't put no torches up here. There could have been creepers and everything around here. Oh, my word. Oh, and J. Think about this stuff. Torches are important. Okay. So, there we go. We're putting... Putting a lot of torches around now because I don't want the chance of a creeper spawning in the sugarcane farm. That is a big fear of mine because, let's face it, uh, sugar uh, sugar canes are green, creepers are green. Yeah, it's hard to kind of distinguish them sometimes, so we don't even want to go down that road. Yeah, it's okay. So we explored the rest of the villa. Or not the, the village. Ha, that's funny, I you. Now we explored uh, the rest of the desert over there. Um, sadly, didn't find nothing of interest. Uh, kind of disappointing, yeah, but hopefully we luck up and get some cool finds underground um find a lot of cool loot and stuff like that so oh this is gonna be weird there's gonna be nothing there okay well that's all the sugar can i got for now well no man. i'll just do this just so we get a little bit um the whole farm kind of established here and now that's gonna be all i have boom 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 okay this is gonna look pretty good it's gonna do a decent job so i mean it is what it is work i'm pretty happy so we also need to just work a I need to patch that up. I'm. Why have I not patched that up so far? I almost died at the beginning of this part because of that. I think it was the beginning of this part. So, yeah, I'm patching that up now, which should have been done a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't, but yeah, look at that. That's that looks pretty cool, but it's it's not cool. The fact I almost died from it. So now I just gotta start going through all this process of uh, getting all this done. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to you know create a pathway out there and we'll speed up the video starting now. Okay, we are back, and I do believe that will pretty much get that whole, like, stairway up there. Um, it turned out decent, I suppose, on how I wanted it to be. So, it'll come up and come out, like, right here, which is not bad. Um, as for we can kind of, what I might have an idea of, it will kind of come out. Um, it'll be like a little hut we'll come into. And then there'll be two staircases on each side kind of going up to each, like, there'll be the wheat farm here. 
and then on the other side there will be the uh what is it what is it uh the melon farm so um i think that's how it's gonna work out and like i said i might just take that one idea that i had in one of the earlier parts and build a barn down somewhere on a flat land just so it's easier to get animals and whatnot so yeah, i'm gonna have to clear all this out which is also gonna take a little bit of time and i'm just doing this real quick because one side's gonna have the melon farm one side's gonna have the wheat farm i think if this side's gonna have the wheat farm I want to make sure everything's really even and nice and probably symmetrical as well. That way, you can just walk up, enter a little hut, be like, oh, here's the wheat farm, here's the melon farm, and I'll probably imp implement the uh, the pumpkins in with the... Oh, that's going to be weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll see how I want to go about doing that. Because uh, that honestly needs to be a little bit higher anyway, so... Hmm, that's going to be intriguing, yeah. Uh, unless I just make it up a, no a whole nother level. I don't know if I want to do that, but I might just do that. I'll see, I could take this level down as well, and then I could just... Okay, yeah, I guess I could do that. I could just add this up a bit. Of course, then I'm going to have water running through it as well, so... Intriguing, intriguing, intriguing. I'm going to have to do some renovating if this is going to prove to be an issue, because I'm going to have to wa have to have water, unless I put a, a little walkway right here, so I don't have to worry about it. Hey, that might be a smart... Um, way to fix it. Oh no, I'll figure it out though, and I'm gonna brainstorm this out, and then we'll have this farm started, and we will be in the good. All we need to do is, of course, add improvements to our house throughout time, if I ever get around to doing it. Cause I, I know if you guys remember back in the Minecraft LP, like I would say I was gonna add improvements, but like I don't even think of that LP. I ended up finishing my. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think I ended up finishing the house roof that I had, cause I kept on delaying it, and I was so focused on exploring and get to that ender dragon but yeah i don't know we're gonna make this look pretty nice um the wheat uh, i mean not the wheat but the sugarcane farm is looking decent actually so it's all it's all in works and it's gonna be pretty awesome once it's finished but with that being said i do believe we'll sum this part up here i want to say thanks to all the supporters out there if you leave a like you share the video with anyone it's greatly appreciated which is, we're gonna take over in due time and it's gonna be pretty amazing but with that being said have a wonderful day and old army unite Thank <laughs> you.